Mike, after Tuesday night and then Michigan puts that run into either side of halftime, what does it say about this group, the way they just kind of dug in and pulled together maybe last 10, 12 minutes? They got a lot of fight in them. Um, you know, I didn't know how we would respond after the Iowa um, game, and I thought we came out and defensively we were as good as we've been all year. And then right before the half, they made, I think, a 10-0 run that that cut our lead to two. And, you know, kind of knocked us for a loop a little bit. And, and we came back this second half, and they were clicking on all cylinders, man. And we just kept grinding. I was shuffling guys. You know, we were in foul trouble with Gallo and eventually fouling out. but. I thought everybody that played, man, just kept making plays, and I thought the two plays that raced me down the stretch from a defensive standpoint, the two steals were probably the biggest two plays of the game. Mike, at one point, I think it was six straight Michigan possessions uh, without a field goal when you were down 10. Uh, what, do you, what do you feel like in that stretch got, got the guys back on track? Well, again, it's been our defense all year, man. When we're clicking defensively and getting stops, and then if we're making shots, because we started to make some shots throughout that run, um, I mean, we're a pretty good team when we're doing that. And we was getting stops after stops, and we had no choice. I mean, they were playing extremely well. And, um, you know, once we took the lead, then it was back and forth. I thought the steal the race had, and the layup that he missed, I, that really could have iced it for us, I thought. But, uh, Took us overtime to go get it. Yeah, Coach, I just want to get your thoughts on Trey's performance on senior night, 27 points, nine rebounds, you know, lead you in assists, two big blocks in overtime. What did you think about the way he played, considering it's senior night, you guys are playing for double buy and everything? Well, there was a lot at stake. You know what I mean? It's last game at home and, you know, playing for the double buy, um, something that – we didn't do last year. Hell, we had to play our way in the tournament play last year. Um, so, I mean, it kind of eases the mind a little bit, but they still had to step up and make plays to help us win this game because Michigan was playing for something as well. But um, I can't say enough about Trace Jackson Davis. He's had a stellar, stellar career here at Indiana, but he's still got a lot of basketball left. Coach, about 14 minutes left, you took Race and Miller off the floor, and then it was Trace, three true freshmen, and Tamar. They kind of weathered the storm to keep Indiana in the game. What did you see from that rotation on the floor? That well, was, at, at that, you mean, well, Miller and and Race were struggling when, when I took them out of the game. So I was searching, too, as a coach. And I thought um, Tamar came in and um, Caleb came in and, Big fella Malik, they gave us some positive minutes throughout that stretch. But coming down the home stretch, make no mistake about it, I was going with my seniors. And that's when I made the, the push to put Miller and, and race back to bring it home. Mike, it's a different era these days, but uh, you know, Mike uh, Miller and uh, Race and Trace all had choices to make last year in regards to coming back. And uh, you know, you got a six-year and a fifth-year guy and a fourth-year guy. How much does it mean to you that that commitment that they've made is now, you know, kind of played out itself a little bit? Means a lot, you know, because again, you know, this being my first go around and coming into a situation where everybody was in a disarray and was talking about leaving. Hell, I didn't know what what we were going to do, to be honest with you, until they started to make the decision to come back and us getting Miller. You know, it's been a good run for all three of those guys because they've experienced something that they hadn't experienced in college basketball. And that was last year playing in tournament play in, in the NCAA. Miller had never been there. And neither Race or Trace have been there. So, you know, they have – they've done a lot in a short period of time. Um, but we still got a long way to go. Hey, Woody. As the game was ticking down the last few minutes, I just seemed to wonder about when you played. And I just wonder if any game came up that you were thinking, man, we, we got to have the fans, we got to have the will to win. And just, just your thoughts as it went down to the end and went into overtime. Hey, it was my last game here on this floor, you know, playing for the Big Ten title. Everything was at stake, man. And 
to win the Big Ten title in overtime on your own floor in front of your own fan base, man, that that was the biggest, one of the biggest thrills of my life playing here. And it was on senior night. So, I mean, it made it even better. So, I, you know, those were the things I was thinking. I wanted these guys to win in the worst way, man, because it's – it's a good feeling to be home back here at your last game on senior night in front of your fan base and winning basketball games. And they were able to pull it out, so I'm so proud of them. Mike, you mentioned uh, last year having to play into the tournament uh, and thinking all that. This year you don't have those worries. Not only that, you most likely secured the number two seed in the Big Ten tournament, which gives you the double bye. H how important is having that double bye for this team uh, moving forward? Well, it's very important. Um, you know, I mean, I think back to last season when you have to play, we played three straight games, three straight nights. Man, that's tough physically as well as mentally. And, you know, our guys were right there at the end fighting, man. You know, they were playing for something, man, because they had never tasted NCAA play. And... You know, this year will be a little different. Um, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is still a lot of basketball. It really is. And uh, we got to take it one day at a time, one game at a time, and see where it leads us. But I'm happy that we're playing three games versus four. Mike, and we'll finish up with Zach. Coach, Tamar's been on a little bit of a roller coaster here over the last month or so. He even struggled a little bit early in this game, but you, you had to go to him with Trey in foul trouble, and he seemed like he really stepped up and responded for you. He did. I mean, they came, they turned to me and said, who are you going with? Hell, I, well, I got to go with the next senior guy. You know, I can't rely on freshmen to, to bail us out. And, you know, Tamar's had some big games for us, especially here in this building. So I elected to go with him, and he he bought it home. He played well down the stretch, made a big shot. Uh, so I couldn't be more proud of a kid. He was he stepped up and did what he needed to do to help us win. Okay, last question, Zach. I wanted to ask him about Tamar, too. His defense in particular, he spent a lot of time on Bufkin those last 10, 12 minutes, and it seemed like he, he kind of took Bufkin out of the game, out of his rhythm. Just what did he do well? He earned his stripes play? tonight. Cause that kid is pretty good, and has been playing extremely well. And I thought Tamar did a tremendous job on him in terms of trying to keep him in front and making him make tough shots. And we're going to need that the rest of the way. I mean, everybody's got to be on board and committed and see what happens. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.